How's it going folks? This is Nene coming back to you with a little witch in the woods. So the last time we left off, we helped that uh that fox boy. I think with a candy. And now we're just trying to figure out how to take off those vines. Let's see right now. Um, oh, there you go. Search the drawers in the witch's house to find information about the moonflower. What? Workplace. Okay. Here? No. Over here? I hope I get to work on something here later. It's pretty useless now, though. Mm, nope. Anything right here? How about over here? I think it's that, is it? Mm, I don't know what the ticks this is. Uh, okay. So, no, it can't be that. Alright, let's go somewhere else. Run, girl, run. Run. Oh, what the hell? How did he get there? Oh, he was following me. Oh, let's save. Ah, oh, let's escape. Alright, let's get this started. The moonflower. People have died from reading too many books, haven't they? So much for all that confidence. I actually have a disease that kills me if I read too many books, you know? Stop complaining and keep searching. You've only gone through three books so far. <laughs> only? Come on, look at the size of these books. It's too much work. Can't you read instead? You sure you want to do that? Of course, we're friends, right? It looks like the next few lines are about the moonflower. What? Really? <laughs> Let's see here. Bitter grape tea tree... Bitter grape tea tree. That's the tree we saw at the summit. The glowing one. The glow came from the blue moon butterflies. Hmm. The tea leaves. Blah, blah, blah. Tastes like grape. Strong bitter taste. Oh, here it is. Blah, blah, blah. It's also famous for its flowers. The moonflower. Moonflower. So hell, it was here. There's still more information. Hmm. It gathers moonlight most of the time. And on moonless nights, the moonflower blooms. A moonless night. But the tree at the summit had blue moon butterflies flying around. So the moonflower couldn't bloom because of the moonlight emitted by the blue moon butterflies. So if we get rid of the blue moon butterflies, then the moonflower will bloom. Yeah, it's a commonly used method back in Luxorin or to gather moonlight with the blue butter with the blue moon butterflies. Shoot them away and collect the moonflower. All right, let's get rid of the blue moon butterfly. Make lunar's oil and remove the prickly vines. But what do we use to get rid of the blue moon butterflies? They don't like sunlight, so a sunlight potion should work. All right, let's make a sunlight potion and get rid of those butterflies. Okay, so... Nope, wrong button. Uh, ah, there you go. So now we're going to make a... There you go, sunlight potion. Witch flower extract, maple herb extract. Okay. Let's do this. We need you guys. Get over here. That. Hey, come back up. Okay. Okay, and then we need this right here. Let's see. More of you. Okay. Let's see. Where's the rest? I need... Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Nope. Um. Mm. That should be good. Uh, but that's not what I want. I need. Ah, there it is. This is what I was looking for. What else was it? Uh, maple herb. Okay. Is no, that's not it. That's it. It's the red one. Go, 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 go. 
Okay. Dang it. Let's go on this. Oh, look, there's one right there. What do you know? Oh, there's one over there, too. Dang it. Get that one, too. Hey, we should be good. Let's go make it. Do, 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 do. Alright, let's go. Run, girl, run, run. What was that? Oh, it's a tree. Okay. And then I was supposed to make extract, right? Yeah. I'll make this. This one. Do it all. And this one. Oh, look how many we have. Finishing. Squeeze the juice to fire to five. Start a little right. Okay. Uh, let me see. Right. That. That. And that. What? Did I do it right? Right. Oh, oops. I said it to the left. Good thing I made a little bunch of them. It's a blinding flash of light. That's a pumpkin. Woohoo! Woo the sunlight potion is ready. Let's go to the tree right away. Ellie, the lunar soil is. Don't worry, you already have the ingredients. You already have them? First is the moonflower. Do you really want to go now? Did you do everything you want to do? Yeah. There's nothing more to do. Let's go. Yeah, there shouldn't be anything, right? Oh, great. There's such a tree as expected. Wow, there are tons of shiny butterflies. You're going to make them all go away now, right? I feel so bad for them all of a sudden. It's for the tree's sake. Hurry up and sprinkle the potion. Okay, here goes. What's going on? Oh, crap. That's really bright. I was scattered too. Oh, it's pink. What? Wow, it's beautiful. Where are those butterflies going? Wouldn't they go back to where they came from? But the flower? Oh, over there, over there. Where, where, where am I looking at? Oh, this falling. Oh. It's so beautiful. Yes, it's really, really beautiful. Now we can just pick up the moonflower and make lunar's oil. Rub run, can you go quickly? Oh, can you go to the prickly vines and wait for us there? We'll come as soon as the moon oil is ready. Oh, okay. I'll be waiting in front of the vines. Alright, let's go to this country. I should make lunar's oil. Ellie, I hope you haven't forgotten. For lunar's oil, you need phoenix feather. There's no way you can find a phoenix around here. We have a phoenix feather right here. You told me all about it earlier. What? Oh, Ellie, that's not a good idea. If we do that, we might not be able to get back on the train. We might not make it to Highline. You, um, a witch is always ready to help, starting with the one who needs it the most. That again? You just like it here better. Well, of course. You just don't like the witch's house in Highline. That's true. Stop being childish. You're going to regret it later. No, Virgil. What I will regret is not doing this right now. I'm sure of it. You have to be smart about this. <laughs> Phoenix Feather Powder. Great, I have all the ingredients now. <clears throat> Ellie, you're worse than area sometimes. Oh, please, I'm nowhere near as good as my mother. 
That wasn't a compliment. <laughs> Alright, now let's make Luna show you. Uh, okay, what was I supposed to do? Okay. Uh, let's see. Don't stir stage one. Okay. Like that? Okay, how do I make it again? Um, set fire to one, don't stir the loyal. Okay, that oh, one, eight. Okay, that, that. Man, imagine if I messed up, that would suck. Potion that missed strong moonlight. Yes, woo, the lunar oil is ready. Let's get rid of that prickly vine now. I'm here now. Let's hurry up and get rid of the annoying vines. Um, huh? Did you happen to suffer some out because of me? Don't worry about that. This was my choice, what I really wanted to do. And this is my choice. Thanks, Ellie. It's no big, it's not, it's no a big, oh, damn it. It's no big deal. You can't come to the witch's house anytime you want. Are you going to stay here? Yeah, I think I'll keep staying here as an apprentice. Really, really? Really, keep up the good work, Rubrum. Okay, keep up the good work too, Ellie. Hurry up and go home for now. Your grandma must be worried. I'll find you later. Okay, see you in a bit. Yeah. Quit acting like a saint. <laughs> this place seems fun to you, that's all. Virgil, try not to say stuff. Makes me sound like a bad guy, will you? It's a happy ending for all. For all, if, I'm, if I have fun, they're happy, isn't it? Well, the teacher gets angry. Like mother, like daughter, that's what they, they'll say. Well, that's great. I already told you, it's not a compliment. <laughs> Alright, let's head to the village now. But it's late though. I finally arrived at the village. Yeah, it's a village. What kind of village would it be? I hope a lot of fun things happen here. There would be a lot of annoying things to take care of it. I was always expecting something like that. Let's hurry up and go. Huh? It's quite a dull sight. Virgil, how's the village that you have to stay in for three years? Do you feel like going back to Highland again? What the heck happened here? What's this evil prickly vine? I'm so excited. I don't even know where to start. And something seems strange. It's strange for anyone to see the prickly vines growing only on houses. No, that's not what I meant. It feels like I've been here before for some reason. What kind of useless double meaning is that? There's no way you've ever been here. They don't come this far for the witch pool picnic. Something feels familiar. Let's, fin let's find Rob Run first. Look, he's right there. Oh, Ellie. Thanks for helping me get home. That's nothing special, but it really looks like no one is in the village. Yes, many of them left after the prickly vines have grown. Now we only have Uncle Arden's and my house. I see, he must be bored. No, it's okay, because Grandma and Uncle Arden are here and there are also lots of fun things in the forest. Oh, Grandma wants to meet you. Grandma? Yes, she's the village chief. She's the village chief? They say not in these times, but she's still the village chief. She's right behind me. Okay, let's go. Okay, take care. Oh, I have to meet her? But this? Oh. It's a sheep. What? He's done a great job with helping my grandchild. Thank you. How did... He must take after his... He must take after his parents. No, I'm not the one who, can, who received help. You can't speak comfortably. I'm Ellie, an apprentice witch. Many witches look different from their age. Alright, I shall speak comfortably, Ellie. Welcome to Wisteria. I'm Inet, chief of the village. I think I said that right. Even though both the village chief and the village are in bad shape. What happened in this village? What are all those prickly vines? Did you take a look around the village? I didn't get a chance. Yes, I saw the houses covered with prickly vines. They didn't look like ordinary prickly vines. One day, three years ago, those prickly vines started to grow all of a sudden and destroyed the houses one by one. Why did the prickly vines start growing all of a sudden? Actually, there were already prickly vines growing in the village. 
The white prickly vine at the village entrance was the one originally growing in the village. But I only saw the prickly vines that started growing for the first time three years ago. At first they were saying things like God's punishment, monster, or witch's curse. Wipe off your jewel, Ellie. It's a serious story. <laughs> there were lots of rumors, but no one actually knew why. They started growing all of a sudden without any explanation. What happened to the villagers? Nobody was hurt. The prickly vines grew fast for a plant, but not fast enough to hurt anyone. Even so, people who had no place to live anymore left the village inevitably. Now only Arden and I are left to protect the village. Don't worry now, I'll help you. I'll remove the prickly vines and bring the villagers back together. Thank you so much for saying that, but it's too late now. What? All the houses have been ruined already, and everyone left. It's not a village, but two old people with a lot of regrets are protecting the ruins. Ellie, you should also leave now. It's better to go to the place you were originally planning to go. But I'm not forcing you. You can stay in the village for as long as you want. But leave when the train comes. This place is not a village anymore. That can't happen. Highline is boring as hell. Virgil, bad word. Ellie? Um, Ellie? There are no more people here. Even if the prickly vines are removed, nothing remains. This is still a village. Even the people who had left want to come back. Even if the prickly vines disappear, why would they come back to a village like this? Everyone will want to come back. But Ellie, people left and time has passed. I, I don't think those driven out by the prickly vines will ever want to come back to these ruins. No, they would definitely want to come back. It's a wonderful village that you have been cultivating all your life at Enet. I can't let the village get taken away by these weird prickly vines. Yeah, you're right, but here, let's go see for today. I'll talk again tomorrow. Um, you look tired too. Robrun looks like he needs to rest as well. Okay, don't scold Robrun too much. Yeah, okay, get some rest. You too, in it. What's in here? Oh, I can get in there. Oh, that means I gotta go run back home. Hello, any interest? No, not right now. Go to sleep. What are you trying to do? And it is right, it requires a lot of imagination to call this place a village. It's still a village, even there, if there are no houses. Yeah, but it's not a village if there are no people. The people will come back. How can you be so sure this is your first time in this village? If you're just being ridiculous. No, I definitely heard it. The villagers want to come back. What? <laughs> Where did you hear it? You didn't even see a villager. That, I don't know, maybe I heard it in a dream. That's absurd. No, it's absurd. No, it isn't. It's the village that Enet has lived in for all her life. Other people will also have loved the village as much as Enet. You know you also just met Enet for the first time. I can tell even if we met for the first time there was some kind of throbbing feeling. Who would fix the house even if the prickly vines are removed? There are two old people and one child remaining. You're right Virgil. Correct. You need a carpenter to fix the house. The first person returning has to be a carpenter. Yeah, I wish the carpenter could fly if possible. It would be nice to also have about six arms. Don't be sarcastic, Virgil. I guess you should have a deep dream in order to meet that kind of carpenter. Stop being sarcastic. Well, I mean, the head knows what he's talking about, but you know. I think I went early. Yeah, I went early. Sleep. Is that a key yet? Did you meet the flying carpenter? <laughs> I don't know. It seems like I did have a dream, but I don't remember anything. Are you nervous or something since this is your first day as an apprentice witch? Of course not. So are you ready to start your first day as an apprentice witch? Of course. Do you know what to do? Let me ask what Yannette thinks first. Although she will naturally approve it, it will start from the moment she approves. We'll check out the carpenter's house and try to get rid of the prickly vines. Remember that we don't have a phoenix feather left. It will work out somehow. Let's go to Unit first. Oh, it's safe. Hey, who that? Hello, this is the witch's catalog that gives you the most inexpensive products at best price. This is Diane Greenwood, Green Wind, who brings happiness. Nice to meet you. Yes, hello, I'm Ellie, an apprentice witch. Yes, nice to meet you, Ellie. What I must help you with today is, oh, you're registering for the first time? Yes, that's right. It must have been inconvenient for you to not be able to use any witch's catalog. Just a minute, okay? Thank you for waiting. So I need to see the master witch before registering. Is she inside? <laughs> the master witch? 
Yes, I need the Master Switch signature to register in the Witch's catalog. Oh, that's, um, I'm... Hey, yeah. <laughs> right, yeah. Fooling around while I'm out, you didn't forget to register with them? Yeah, uh, oh, no, I didn't even forget. Of course not. Oh, I guess the Master Witch is at some place else now. Are you talking through that hat? Yes. <laughs> Say quietly, you unfinished <laughs> tomato. <laughs> Why can't you even do one thing properly? I told you to tell me when the witch's catalogs employees come. I'm sorry, I was just about to tell you. Oh, sure, then I guess Ellie can just sign instead because the master witch is here. You'll ha also receive the gift if you join now. Whoa, gift, what is it? A witch's broom that's easy to use. A witch's broom, finally. <laughs> you can't just sign here and here. Okay, just a minute. Yes, that's it. Then I'll explain how to use the witch's catalog. Would you like to hear it? Should I hear it? It might be long, I guess. Yes, please explain. Every morning, a witch's catalog employee will come in this case. It will be me. I'm planning to be here from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. You can just purchase items you need from me during that time. We do not accept gold coins and only accept Luna coins. What is that thing called Luna coin? Luna coin is a currency used in witch society. It is called Luna coin because it is made from uh, made of an ore with the part of the moon. Don't you know already that since you were also raised in a witch society, Ellie? I think I learned it in school. It's just that I don't think I called money something else in my life. After all, only Luna coins are used in witch society. But how do I earn Luna coins? I guess you don't have enough Luna coins. What? Basically, yes. The witch administration is running a service to purchase potions to prepare for such inc in uh, incident. Please let us know at any time since we purchase regardless of the type. Ooh. Okay, all right, got it. And then there's also the special potion delivery service. And every day of the week we buy potions at a higher price. Okay, you can select one uh, select one out of three in the list, provide and deliver within two days. What the hell? But since we're buying at a higher price, don't lose this nice opportunity. Merchants buy extra, okay. So do you have any more questions? No, not anymore. All right, then feel free to talk to me if you need anything. Um, yes, go ahead. The gift? <laughs> Right, I'll give it to you now. Ooh, a broom given as a freebie. It's old but still useful. Wow, thank you. Finally, my own broom. Oh, we can move faster. With okay, have a nice day. This has been Diane Greenwood of the Witch's Catalog. Do you think it went well? Yes, it looks like the urgent fighter is out. How was my acting skill? You, I'm the one who did the acting. You were dumbfounded. <laughs> it was all an act, act being dumbfounded. This might become a problem later on. I told you I'm good at acting. No, not your poor acting skill, but the fact that the Master Witch is not here. The Master Witch must be at the Witch's house. We can't just have an Apprentice Witch. Can't you just keep acting? How long will it work? And then and there's still the matter of the Witch who was originally here at this Witch's house. It would be nice if we knew who that Witch is. The Witch who was originally here could also be someone with malice. Let's ask the villagers later on. Let's deliver potions with the broom for now. You need to get to Annette. Oh, you're right, but there's no need for urgency. The poke ain't strange, strange. Uh huh. You can use to do it later. Oh, okay. So how do you do the room? How do you do the room? Oh. Look at me go! I'm flying! She farts. What was that little red dot? Is that how much I can use it? Woo, look at that. Super speed. Oh crap. Look at that. Ooh, ooh. Look, what the hell? Wait, what's wrong with this? It looks like we need to dig the, the broom a grave for the <laughs> 12th time. Wait, what? That's not it. The durability is just low. I barely wrote it too. Well, what can you expect from a free gift? I think there was a good workbench at the workplace. I can fix it there. All I need is a branch or a mud. Ah, so now we have to, okay. What's that? Whoa. We didn't get a good chance to look at the village good. What the hell is this? Close, I guess it's a restaurant. But there's some people there. This house looks fine. A restaurant in the village like this? 
Can you do business in a place like this? Oh, that. Oh, you're a witch. Yes, I'm Ellie, an apprentice witch. Hello. I'm Martin, a dragon and a cook. Did you help Red Run? Oh, look. Rob Run, you, you're pretty kind. Don't mention it. Are you going to stay here? I think I'll end up doing so. Why are you staring at me like that? Uh, I'm sorry, it's my first time seeing a dragon with my own eyes. Normally, you wouldn't see one. Even Mom said that she, that she seldom met a dragon, huh? That's why I wasn't sure, but you're a real dragon. I never thought I would meet a, a, a chef dragon in a place like this. Since dragons have no reason to mingle with humans, I think I was like that too. I can't tell you the reason even if you look at me with those eyes, because I don't remember now. It's kind of weird to call it a reward, but tell me if you're hungry. Although it's usually not for free. Okay, sure. This is for helping rub rum. Take it since it's free. Beef bread. Piping hot man. Uh, the country bread holds most beef. Oh. Thank you. I'll enjoy it. It's the last one remaining. What's going on? Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, goodbye. Oh, there was a bridge here. What? Just sitting there. The clock has stopped. My grandpa's wall clock. Any interesting stories? Oh, goodbye. Where's his grandma? What the hell was all the way up here? Huh? Temple of the Cat God? Huh? Based on the sign, there should have been a road. Sign is broken and the road is blocked. Maybe the god is angry. <laughs> what the hell? <clears throat> Where is this old lady? What the hell? It's all going. It's a prickly vine. Something seems different from the prickly vines I saw so far though. We need more information on this prickly vine. Yeah, you're right. Let's talk to you at first. I hope you change your mind. Where is she? Okay, there's her. The dragon went back inside. Oh, there she is. I think she was just walking around. Hello, Inet. Hello, Ellie. Did you sleep well? I thought about it yesterday, but I'm still not sure. The villagers? Yeah, you mean they will want, they will want to come back, right? I don't know why you're more confident than me than when I lived my whole life in this village. Even so, I decided to believe in what, uh, believe in that happy thought. Really? If you get rid of the prickly vines, I'll try to contact the resident who was living in that house. But if that resident refuses, don't worry, because it won't happen. Ellie, you are so nice. Everything will be fine. Do not worry. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. So who should we go? Who should we get first? Was there a carpenter in the village by any chance? Because I think the first thing we need is a carpenter, a carpenter, in order to fix the house. Of course. The house at the upper left side from the central fountain of the village belongs to Kyla? Kayla? Kila. Kila? Ah, who is a carpenter? Then it, sh it would be better to remove the prickly vines from Ke Kila's house first. I don't know if I'm saying that right. That would be better if we get rid of the prickly vines. I'll try to contact Kila. Leave it to me. Okay, I'll leave it to you. You're doing me a favor. Alright, let's get this started. Keep in mind that we don't have M information nor do we have a phoenix. The first thing to do is to collect information. Let's look around Kila's house once and collect information. Let's think about the phoenix later. Would that be okay? Investigate. Alright, let's see. What am I looking for here? This must be the house of a person named Kila. It's in the same condition as the other houses. If you don't get rid of the prickly vines, there's no point in rebuilding the house. Now that we know the location, let's ask other villagers. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, there's no other village, so only this guy. Hello, Ellie. Any interesting stories? Oh. The prickly vine in the village is not so good. Not so good? It's bitter, spicy, not tasty. It also smells fishy. You ate it? Yes, I drank it by draw uh, drawing it as a tea. I dried it and roasted by picking only thorns, and it was hard. I guess you drink everything as tea. There are all so many delicious tea ingredients in the forest. I like apple bush because it's sweet. Grandma says the bird flower tea it smells good. I also make some delicious tea for you, Ellie. Okay, I look forward to it. Oh, I remember it tastes similar to that thing. It also tastes similar to the white prickly vine and the little honey pumpkin in the forest. I guess you also try drinking all of them. 
White pickling vine has a good scent. Hmm, if it tastes similar, can you see it as a similar breed? Thanks, anyway, it was helpful. Alright, come over for some tea next time. Okay. Oh, I got it. Technically, she's not a villager, right? Is that so? Perhaps because it's been a while since I've been here. Did you remove them, the prickly vines? Yes, it's nothing special. Is that so? You're humble, but you did really well. This village has been really gloomy for the past few years. I'm just getting started. That's a big start because I hope that we was that was gradually this spring started to come to life. So never give up on this village. Okay, don't worry. I'll give it up. I'll never give it up no matter what happens. You sound reliable. By the way, did you happen to bring the thing you promised last time? Of course. Are you talking about your Yaikon melon? No, you promised the rooster hen. <laughs> roaster handle to use for the roaster. I'm kidding. Of course I brought it. But since this guy broke his leg, I don't think I can bring proper products for a while. Oh really? I feel sorry for you. Ugh. Thank you for your concern, but don't worry, it'll be get better soon. The things on sale will be trivial things instead. I have a good offer for each other. Do you want to hear it? Sure, what is it? As you can see, since Wisteria is not in the environment to bring good products, I'll make it better soon. Yeah, but I didn't mean it that way. However, there's a good witch here. I want to use the witch to our advantage. Is there, is there such a witch here? That's what I'm saying. I can't see even from up here. <laughs> I'm pretty comfortable with my eyes whether it might be a person or a thing. So Ellie, I want to leave the work to you. What do you think? Naturally, you would also receive proper wages since good things deserve good prices. Really? For me? Really? For her? <laughs> yeah, I think I'll ask for potion or animal. Um, I would think I'll ask for potion or animal and plant gathering here. How does that sound? Of course, I like it. Naturally, I also look at the quality of product properly. That's because you, good things deserve good prices. Listen carefully, Ellie. It means a bad price for bad products. Just like the talking hat said, therefore, it's a ver it's Virgil, a hat that deserves a bad price. <laughs> Keep up the good work, Ellie and Virgil. Okay, we'll work hard. Then can I talk about work right away? Of course. Since I'm not a witch, I'll only sell the candies that can be used by non-witches. Since I basically buy them all the time, come and buy them anytime. And you do need a lot of potions from time to time. Can you make 10 healing candies in just one day? That's kind of hard. Isn't it? I also have to talk to the person who buys it. If I need that many potions, I'll tell you one day in advance. In this case, I'll be able to buy it for a more expensive price than usual. Oh, well, that's nice. Instead, you must deliver after making a promise. That's because trust is important. If you think you can tip if you can't because of other things, just say you can't. Okay. So can I ask for one right away? Let's see here. I need two healing candies by tomorrow. Hmm. All right, I'll have it ready until tomorrow. Please note that delivery is possible until tomorrow because promises are important. Do you need anything? In... All right, folks, we're gonna leave it there for today. We'll ask her that question later about the vines and we'll talk to the dragon about the vines too. Uh, let me run back. I, I shouldn't have broken my broom I should have kept it if I could run all right so we're gonna leave it there for today folks got a lot done today we're able to get all that uh, the fine down talk to the grandmother quote-unquote grandmother and then the other one was the uncle but um yeah we'll see what happens next time though um but until then you guys have a good one